Department. Um, next, we have uh, John Giesman with the Alliance for Nuclear Responsibility, along with Rochelle Becker. Thank you, Madam Chair. There is no particular joy in being the skunk at the picnic. Everybody agrees that PG&E would have a more legally defensible new lease at Diablo Canyon if it were preceded by an EIR. PG&E doesn't want you to do that. If PG&E wants to exempt a new lease from CEQA, they ought to sponsor legislation to accomplish that. PG&E doesn't want to do that. I continue to be mystified by PG&E's approach to risk and their desire to have you indemnify those risk calculations. I doubt that any one of you would purchase a new property with a waiver of your right to inspection or a waiver of your right to receive specified disclosures from the seller. Yet that is exactly what PG&E is asking you to do in this case. One has to wonder what information it is that would come out from a full CEQA review process that PG&E is so afraid of. They're asking you to indemnify their decisions. If anything goes wrong at that plant during the remainder of this new lease, you will own that outcome for the remainder of your lives. And the company asking you to do that is the only utility licensee in the entire history of the commercial nuclear power industry ever to face prosecution from the federal government for 12 safety-related felonies and one obstruction of investigation felony. Common sense says you should perform an EIR. Rochelle Becker, Executive Director of the Alliance for Nuclear Responsibility. We thank the joint parties for allowing us to make this presentation today. We are grateful that the joint parties came together and we are looking forward to working with them. We know that you can never get anything accomplished by only speaking to each other. And you, commissioners, and the other joint parties, and the public in general have done that. We have worked with the legislature, we have worked with every oversight agency, and what we are asking is the information that we have given to you be included in your record so when you make that decision, we have dotted all of our I's and crossed all of our T's and you have the information before you that we have so long worked for to make sure it was before every agency. We've litigated them. We've worked on legislation on them. These are issues that are very important to San Luis Obispo. We stand to lose a lot in San Luis Obispo, and we are very grateful to pg e for considering our community and the workers in our community, for considering the environmental effects and going towards a renewable future. But this record needs to be complete, and so we ask that the information that we gave to you yesterday be included in the record. Thank you. Thank you.